Hello, this is your how to make your densely nutritious smoothie. You know, once you start this, our 30 Days to Healthy Living program, and then once you have graduated, you can certainly change up your smoothie recipe to your particular um, taste. But I'm going to show you what I do pretty much every morning for my family. The first thing you need is you'll need a blender. Your blender doesn't have to be really expensive. You can certainly get a blender for less than $100, or you can get a blender that costs more than that. Um, you will find that if you're going to make smoothies almost every single day, that the investment in a good quality blender is going to go a long way for you. But just make sure when you pick out your blender that it does have a smoothie function on it or an ice crunching um crushing function on it because that'll make sure your smoothies get blended up really nice and smooth. So the first thing that I do when I'm going to make my smoothie, now we can use fresh fruit or you can use frozen fruit. So uh, today I'm going to show you, I'm going to use frozen fruit. I always buy organic fruit for my smoothies because we drink smoothies every day and sometimes twice a day. And because we are consuming so much of this fruit, I want it to be organic. I don't want to add any um, toxic chemicals to my body every single day if I can help not to. So I'm going to make a smoothie for one. And what I put, I put into the smoothie container is about two cups of, this is mixed fruit. I don't make any particular flavor smoothie. We have recipes for lots of different flavored smoothies, but I just like a mixture of fruit. And then I'm going to add a little bit of mixed berries to it. So remember, the key to good health is going to be variety. Variety of nutrients, vitamins, and phytonutrients. And so that's why I use a mixture of um, ingredients. So then next, we're going to add the um, Arbonne's Vanilla Protein Powder. It is my favorite. I do use chocolate on occasion, but vanilla is my favorite because it really lets the taste of the fruit come through. So for one person, it's two scoops. So I put two scoops of the protein powder in there, seal it back up. And then I'm going to add one scoop of the Daily Fiber Boost. And this is a really important step in your smoothie is adding the fiber boost is the fiber boost the fiber that actually helps bind to a lot of the toxins in our body and help remove them so i always recommend adding the um, fiber to it then i add water to my smoothies but you could use almond milk or coconut milk or something like that if you want a creamier flavor you can also add an avocado if you want a creamier flavor or a creamier smoothie or a banana i also like to add a half of a lime, or you can use a lemon because Arbonne's protein powder is sweet. You know it has pure cane sugar in it, and so it, it is pretty sweet. So when I add a half of a lime, it kind of um, adds a little tartness to the smoothie. So I add a half a lime. If you're making your smoothie for more than one, you can add a whole lime or half a lime, just depending upon what, what flavor you like. Also, if you don't want your smoothies quite as sweet as what they, they taste like when you make them with the... Um, protein powder, Arbonne's protein powder. Arbonne does have a daily protein boost that also has uh, 10 grams of uh, protein in this. And you can add one scoop of vanilla protein and one scoop of the uh, daily protein boost. And that's going to give you the 20 grams of protein for your smoothie. So you can also purchase this through Arbonne. All right. So I have my fruit. I have my protein powder. I have my fiber boost, and so now I'm just going to add water. I don't measure. I just do what, um, what looks good. And so I'm going to put, oh, into about oh, four or five cups of water in there and put it on the blender. And then this is the very most important part of your smoothie. You add your greens. The more greens you consume every day, the healthier you're going to be. There are some amazing phytonutrients in dark leafy greens. And so today what I'm putting in is, of course, organic. I always buy organic because I eat these every single day. Is baby spinach and baby kale. Simple when it's purchased just like this. So I'm going to add a couple handfuls. Oh, 
handfuls of the mixed greens. And so remember, it's this is for one person. So what would I want my salad plate to look like? What would I want my breakfast, my dinner plate to look like? How many vegetables on it is what I'm going to put in my um, blender. And if I'm feeling like I really need to, to clean up my diet, to detox my body, I'm going to add more greens to it. Because again, the more greens you add to your smoothie, the healthier you're going to be. So, all right, so let's blend. probably all of about five minutes. I also like to add to my smoothie chia seeds. Chia seeds, and again, I like to buy these organic because I eat them every day. Chia seeds are an amazing superfood. And once you put them in your smoothie, they give your smoothie some good texture and just a lot of added um, antioxidants for your, for your morning. So anyway, one tablespoon for every smoothie. So we'll throw this in there. And I don't blend my chia seeds because I like to eat my chia seeds. I like to feel the texture of them. You can blend them up so where you can't even tell that they're in there. But I don't particularly do that because I love the taste of my, the texture of the chia seeds. So I just throw them in there, my blender back on, and just on the stir function, stir them up so they get stirred all the way through. All right, smoothie is complete. So the, the question generally is, is how much smoothie should I be drinking? Well, in my family, can you see how big my glass is? All three of us get a smoothie this big in the morning before we start our day. So here you go. Cheers to a great smoothie. I just want to add a couple, couple of side notes to that. If you don't want to use frozen fruit, and frozen fruit is absolutely okay, but if you have a lot of fresh fruit at your house, like I have here, a bowl of fresh fruit, you can certainly use fresh fruit. You will have to add to your blender ice if you want to get that really creamy, cold consistency to it, but certainly a bowl of fresh fruit um, into your smoothie in the mornings will be absolutely fabulous. Also, we... Part of our program is the Digestion Plus. You can certainly add the Digestion Plus to your smoothie. Don't put it in the blender because you want you do not want to disturb the enzymes, the live enzymes that are in here. You can um, add the packet to your smoothie and just stir it in. I particularly like to drink my smoothie without it because the Digestion Plus does have a flavor. It's not a good flavor. It's not a bad flavor. It's a flavor. I love the taste of my smoothie, so I don't want to disturb the, the flavor of my smoothie. The way I drink my uh, Digestion Plus is I take a small glass of water. You can see how much I have it. I add the Digestion Plus to it, stir it up, and I drink it down. It's just a, a couple of sips of water. I actually um, take the Arbonne multivitamins, and so this is the water that I drink down my multivitamins with. And so that's just a little tip there. One more tip I want to add is Arbonne has a product called the Greens Balance. And if you happen to be traveling or you don't happen to have greens at your house in, in, at the particular point you want to make your smoothie, you can add this product to the fruit in your smoothie into the protein powder that will actually give you some good phytonutrients from um, some dark leafy greens that they have dehydrated and put into the green smoothies. So if you're traveling, 
This is a great product to take along with you with Arbonne's protein powder. A lot of times you can get fresh fruit, but it's sometimes hard to get dark, dark leafy greens. And so this is an excellent um, product to add to your smoothies if you're traveling or if you run out of dark leafy greens. Or if you end up just really liking the flavor of this, you can certainly add it to your smoothies daily. But always remember, fresh is best. You're going to get the best nutrient um, boost from fresh fruits and vegetables and that's what we're all about is adding in a ton more of fresh fruits and vegetables to our daily nutrition. So that's it. Bon appetit. Enjoy your smoothies and um, let us know if we can help you with anything. Thanks.